profound gratitude that we have come to thank your excellency for your very kind felicitations goodwill and solidarity on the occasion of the ceremonies marking our recent coronation as the 21st Olu of Warren. A, a high power delegation was on hand to witness our ascension to the throne of our forebears. Once again, we say thank you. As a Nigerian and the leader of the Shekiri people, it is with a great sense of responsibility that we pledge our loyalty to one united Nigeria as we support your government's aspirations to provide security and economic prosperity to all Nigerians, irrespective of tribe, creed, or religion. 2,600 years ago, John Dickinson said, united we stand, divided we fall as a country. Like every other nation on earth, Nigeria has her problems to grapple with. But our firm belief is that as a united Nigeria, we shall stand well and make Nigeria a better country than we met. In unity, equity, and justice, we shall bequeath a better Nigeria to our children. Our prayer is that the almighty God will use the elements that unite us as a country to make us grow. May God bless Nigeria. We know Mr. President, a dogged patriot and a fervent believer in Project Nigeria, is also a man of unquestionable integrity, a virtue he deployed in governing our dear nation. So we thank you for your service to Nigeria. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, please pardon us as we would like to take advantage of this rare opportunity to draw Your Excellency's attention to some burning issues that are dear to our hearts and by extension, dear to the hearts of Your Excellencies, of Your Excellency, because it is all for the advancement of the cause of a progressive Nigeria. Incidentally, these issues are the focus of your administration, security and the economy. The first point, the underutilization of the Delta ports. There are four ports in Delta states, Wari, Koko, Sapele and Burutu. However, these ports are underutilized and can make substantial contribution to the Nigerian economy and improve the security in our region by creating jobs for the teeming population of unemployed youths, thereby reducing insecurity in the Niger Delta. We believe that this is a win-win for Nigeria and also a win for the Niger Delta. The reconstitution of the NDDC board. After the forensic audit of the commission, we believe that Your Excellency will soon reconstitute the NDDC board. As an interested party, we only have prayers for Your Excellency's ears. We genuinely want a better deal for us in the Niger Delta, as we believe charity begins at home. By this, we mean that we Niger Deltans must be ready to put the betterment of our people first in all that we do. Putting our people first is the only way to make our lives better. The third point, immortalizing Chief Festus Samuel Okotiebo. Your Excellency, Chief Festus Samuel Okotiebo was indeed a first in many aspects for us, the Shekiri people and Nigeria. He was the first finance minister of an independent Nigeria. And as we know, his life was cut short in the 1966 January coup. Today, not one monument is named after Chief Festus Samuel Okotiebo. Therefore, we as a Shekiri hereby present a formal request that Chief Festus Samuel Okotiebo be immortalized by naming a fitting memorial to his immense sacrifice for his dear country. 
Your Excellency, as we conclude our address, we would like to express our gratitude for your vision and your foresight in the approval granted to one of us for the establishment of the first floating liquefied natural gas, FLNG, facility in Nigeria. Our gratitude stems from the fact that we will host the UTM FLNG Limited Head Office in Wari. We see this as a bold move to wake Wari up again. Your Excellency, we would like to use this opportunity to express our appreciation to NNPC, led by its Group Managing Director, for the cordial relationship with the host communities in Iweriland as we protect the nation's oil and gas assets. We appeal to Mr. President to direct NNPC to take over the Ogidibe EPZ project, which has been abandoned since 2015. We, the Shekris, have always been a law-abiding and peaceful people and the biggest supporters of peace and security. We must bring it to your attention that certain elements in our region continue to recklessly flout court judgments, and these elements pose a threat to peace in the region. We know your excellency stands for not only peace, but fairness and justice. As we bring this to a close, we present to our president the details of the matters raised in our speech. Thank you very much, and may God bless Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you.